My name is Ian Johnson, and I'm this year's National Honor Society President at Chesapeake High School. And I have a question for all of you. When you look at the people who sit before you, what do you see? Students? Loved ones? Some people dressed in robes? I see commitment, dedication, and leadership. In the Unicycle chapter of the National Honor Society here at Chesapeake High School, each individual is required to have a 3.5 GPA on a 4.0 grading scale. In addition, each individual must also spend at least 50 hours in service to their community, be involved in Chesapeake's beautification team, Hometown Love, and lead a personal service project. The National Honor Society is this pr the nation's premier organization dedicated to placing a spotlight on outstanding high school students. To be invited to this prestigious organization shows that you exemplify our four qualities, scholarship, service, leadership, and character. These four pillars have been associated with membership in the organization since its inception in 1921. Every member you see before you, junior and senior, has shown that they have exemplified these four qualities of this great organization. My name is Kayla Randall, and I am this year's National Honor Society Historian. On March 26, 1959, the Unicycle Chapter of the National Honor Society was established when South Point High School's National Honor Society members inducted, inducted 12 Chesapeake High School seniors as members. On May 12, 1959, 12 members of Chesapeake's junior class were inducted by the senior members. Eunice Kelly Cycle, born on May 29, 28, 1906, received her education in Minnesota. Mrs. Seibel began her teaching career in the 1930s, and during World War II, she began, she worked in the laboratory at Ashland Oil Incorporated. Throughout her teaching career, Mrs. Seibel taught at several high schools in Lawrence County, Ohio, as well as Ohio University in Ironton, teaching home economics, math, and Spanish until 1971 when she retired. After reti during retirement, she and her husband had an antique business in Minnesota. Mrs. Seipel was 95 years old when she passed away on April 11, 2002. 65 years after, Mrs. Eunice Seipel chartered Chesapeake High School's National Honor Society. Our members continue to exhibit the four qualifications required for membership. This year's members have accumulated 3,325 hours total. We will now present to you the National Honor Society video.
joint main review of the qualities of each pillar as defined by the National Honor Society. The first pillar is scholarship. Scholarship is to commit to learning by making the most of educational opportunities provided and seeking out ways to learn, not only in school, but personally. Scholarship takes effort. It stems from a desire to better the world around us in a positive way by seeking out ways to learn. This, to me, scholarship is the pursuit of personal growth. It's the innate desire to better ourselves so we can better the world around us. It is my honor and pleasure to stand among my peers in the name of scholarship. Good morning. My name is Brooklyn McComas, and I am this year's National Honor Society Vice President. The second of the four qualities is service. Service is seeing a need and fulfilling it voluntarily. Service can be described in various ways. Sometimes it's driven by a passion for a specific cause or the desire to seek opportunities to help those in need. Other times it's simply contributing to our school and community by using our time and abilities to create a better tomorrow. Regardless of the reason, the quality of service is a value that can never afford to be lost within society. Helping others can be one of the most rewarding experiences in one's life. To me, Service is setting aside your own desire to help others. This year, I've just demonstrated service by volunteering with the Special Olympics organization. The organization completely changed my perspective. I now know the importance of encouraging others, no matter the circumstances. My name is Brooklyn Webb, and I'm this year's National Honor Society Secretary. The third of the four qualities is leadership. Leadership has many components and varies depending on the environment. Leadership begins with communication and the willingness to listen to others. The role of a leader is full of adversity, so despite negativity and roadblocks, a leader must never quit. Leadership requires honesty, selflessness, and the dignity to take ownership for one's actions. Successful leaders lead by example. Eleanor Roosevelt once said, it is not fair to ask of others what you are not willing to do yourself. To me, leadership means inspiring and empowering others by setting a positive example through actions and decisions. My name is Isabel Warren Smith and I am this year's National Honor Society Treasurer. I will present the final quality, character. Character is the mental and moral qualities that make each and every one of us unique. We often associate a person of good character as one who does the right thing, even when it may go unnoticed or be unpopular. A person of good character demonstrates generosity, loyalty, and respectfulness to themselves and others. The attributes that define character are endless and a lifelong endeavor. Being thorough and consistent in this endeavor will provide success both personally and professionally. To me, character shows the essence of who a person truly is, revealed through their actions, choices of words, and how they treat others, especially when faced with adversity. New members, please rise. Raise your right hand. And repeat the National Honor Society oath. I pledge to uphold. I pledge to uphold. The high purposes of the National Honor Society. The high purposes of the National Honor Society. To which I have been selected. To which I have been selected. I will be true to the principles for which it stands. I will be true to the principles for which it stands. And will maintain and encourage. And will maintain and encourage. High standards of scholarship. High standards of scholarship. Service. Service. Leadership. Leadership. And character. In character. Please be seated. Membership must be bestowed upon individuals with an official document. New members 
will be presented with stoves and certificates. Sophie Gentry. Madison Kincaid. Caitlin Ball. Logan Diamond. Violet Gilker. <clears throat> Miley Hall. Aaron Hicks. Lucas Holderby. Angelie Hunley. Zoe Jones. Casey Mumon. Lexi Moss. Gabrielle Napier. Garrett Napier. <laughs> Lauren Pater.
Nathaniel Patterson. Andrew Plants. Abigail Price. Jaden Roberts. Kayla Roberts. Riley Roush. Spencer Wright. Congratulations, new members. Let's give our students one more round of applause. Normally, this is held in the gym uh, with the whole student body present. Uh, as many, many of you know, our gym is currently under construction, so we had to hold it here with just family and friends. So uh, thank you for your understanding. I appreciate that. Also want to say thank you to all of uh, all the parents out here. Um, obviously, all of our students here couldn't be in this place without you guys, without your support. It goes a long way. From the staff at Chesapeake High School, we really appreciate you for what you do and how you raise your job. How you raise your job. Um, before you leave today, don't feel like you have to rush out. We have refreshments over there. My right, your left. Stick around, take some pictures, and talk to the kids. It'll be great. Thank you.